Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Hope you guys are doing great today. I'm here today to share with you a project that I've been working on. And this is um, for the challenge that is being hosted by um, Christian, who is Christian Paper Adventures here on YouTube, Pia. And <laughs> oh, I, I don't remember the last two girls' names or YouTube channel names, but I will list it down below in the description box. But um, they're hosting a uh, 2020 Disney in September uh, PHA challenge. So I actually did the hashtag wrong. So I will put the her correct hashtag down below in the description box. But um, the thing is, is to use Disney um, inspired um, crafty products and create something. So this week, uh, the, the challenge was to do embellishments but I didn't do any embellishments because I had already done embellishments recently so I actually wanted to do something else so this these are the items that you see here is what I actually used along with some other items for my stash but um, what I wanted to do was an altered canvas or a canvas wall art I love doing those I have done already maybe about this will be my Let's see, one, two, three. This will be my fourth one that I, my fifth one, actually my fifth one that I have done and I just love it. So I purchased this 10, eight by 10 canvas from Dollar Tree. It's a crafter square and it's a really nice size canvas and it's actually well made too. So I used that canvas. Um, I also used these uh, picket fences that I picked up a Hobby Lobby. Now this is from Christmas of 2014. So I've had this in my stash, brand new for six years. I can't believe it. But anyways, I um, I use that. Um, I also use this die from Anna Griffin and this is the Castle Easel Card die. So I did not make a card out of it, but I did use the castle part and I just love how it came out. And also, of course, I had to use Frank Garcia's Just Like Magic paper collection. I love the pastel colors. So I used a couple of sheets of the paper. And I used a couple of die cuts from the ephemera collection. So let me go ahead and share with you what I made. And oh my goodness, I love it. I love it. So originally, I had thought about painting it. So I wanted to do an ombre look. And if you follow me on Instagram, I had posted a picture of what I was going to do. But at the end of the day, it did not turn out right. So these were the colors that I wanted to use to paint. And I've done this before. I've done um, ombre looks before on canvas and I love how it looks. But for some reason, it just did not come out. So I repainted it again. And I, this time, I just used baby blue and purple. I tried to stay away from the pink because I use a lot of pink a lot in my in my creations. So I tried to stay away from the pink, but I used the baby blue and the purple. It did not work, guys. It did not work. I did not like how it looked. So I just, instead of trashing it, I just covered it. I covered it with paper. And here is the end result. Ta-da! I love it oh my goodness I love this so much I love and it I can't believe it I finished it in a day <laughs> um but I just love it I really it, it's exactly what I had envisioned at the end you know and I just love when that happens so okay underneath you will not you would be surprised that there's painting and like I said I covered it with paper so this paper is actually the print that has balloons and a little bow it has a, a balloon print, really beautiful. I love it. So I just cut it in an angle, so I did not use the whole sheet. I cut it in an angle. And this is actually a scrap of what I used on the castle. So this was what was left over from the castle die cut. So I went ahead and I trimmed it at an angle. So I just love how that looks. Now, okay, for the castle, I used the die. And if on the die, you see that it has these little, um, uh, it has these like little designs like a bricks. It's supposed to emboss, but for some reason my machine doesn't emboss. So what I did is 
after I cut it out using this paper I went ahead and with my little brush I have a tiny itty bitty brush um one of these here it is one of these little makeup brushes is what I used and I used this ink and it's so juicy it's purple hydrangea and I left the dye I left the paper in the dye so I went ahead with what they with the ink I just started uh, rubbing and on the open spaces to create the look of bricks so it matches perfectly with the paper as well so the paper then behind it is a floral print but it's very very light it's the one with um with the Cinderella slipper it's this print right here if you can see that's the print that I used um, for behind so you see a little bit of floral and behind there and then um, I used purple glitter cardstock and then I used um, foam it's a pink glittered foam for for the rooftops and for the when the balcony here and the door right here and I just love how that looks I use the dies from from the collection as well the Mickey had a uh, balloon dies and I layered for this one right here, these two right here, I did three layers of the foam, pink foam. And then for this one right at the bottom ones, I only did one layer of the foam. And it's got a lot of dimension. So even the castle has dimension because I used foam underneath as well. Because I wanted it to be popped up um, from the canvas. I didn't, want, I didn't want anything to be laying flat. So I wanted to give it dimension. So, um, so yeah, so then here is the, the little, um, the picket fences and I added lace. Uh, this, this trim is actually from Hobby Lobby and it looks like this. I mean, this is the little scrap I have left. So I added lace here and then these little die cuts right here, it's mint green. It's actually from a die and I used mint glittered, uh, cardstock. And this is from Cottage, no, is it Cottage? No, uh, it's called Quick Quick Cuts. Quick Cuts. So I hit some um, of grass and I like the shape. I like the way the grass looks. And I got this off of eBay. So that's what I did. I did six cuts and two of them is um, popped up. So the middle ones is actually popped up to give it more dimension. I added some flowers. These flowers are from I Am Roses. I love I Am Roses flowers. Um, and then here is a trim that I have in my stash. It looks it looks like um like little flowers. So I just added it right there. Something subtle, and I just love it. The picket fences is also popped up, as you can see. I also have it popped up, really nice. And then um, here, you know, I've never been to Disneyland. Never been to Disney World. So I really don't know how it is out over there, but I have seen commercials of it and when they're promoting tickets, you know, and I've seen that they do fireworks behind the castle. So I added these bling flourish right here from my stash. Oh my goodness, I have not used this in like, I think years. So um, I added this to make it look like uh, fireworks, you know, fireworks coming out and then I added little tiny um, iridescent star glitter it's um and I added I don't know if you can see it I know there's like a there's like a shadow but um yeah so I mean it looks so beautiful I love it then um here I added some trim that's like uh, lavender trim and it's got little beaded flowers on top then here is some lace that I added as well from Hobby Lobby. And I felt like something was missing here, so I wanted to bring out the mint, you know, make it all cohesive. So I added um, little blings. These are little pearl flat backs from Michaels that, you, that comes in a box. So I used the mint ones. <clears throat> then here is the die cut from the collection. I used the little balloons since the background has got a balloon print and with the little uh, elephant flying on the sky. And I put here my happy place. And also, um, I popped all of this up as well. And I just love that. I just love how this looks. So, and then um, here I felt like it needed something right here. So, on the castle. So, I have this die that I have purchased. 
um it's from rosie studio and it's like this wreath tie it's so cute so what i did is i cut it out of mint cardstock and then i cut it in half layered it on top of each other and then i just glued it right here on the top of the balcony um and then i added a purple bow it matches everything just matches so perfectly and i just love it i love how it came out and then um since i had painted um, some of the paint spilled over around the edge of the canvas but I didn't want to go ahead and paint it again so what I did is I just covered it with ribbon and I used the same um, lavender ribbon to cover it all the way around and this ribbon is actually from Dollar Tree and I just love it it just goes so well that I picked up at Dollar Tree um, I think this is a spring collection uh, I'm not sure if it was a spring collection if I got this like in the springtime but um yeah it just came out so cute I just love how it looks I had so much fun creating this so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um I want to welcome all my new subscribers I know I jumped in subscribers and thank you so much for subscribing to my channel welcome 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 um please do leave a comment like this video if you like it share it if you want to and I'll see you next time have a great weekend Bye.